Hello. Uh, I would like to. I would like to address this, as I usually do, to friends and allies. But they're so hard to find. So I think I will address it to my enemies and to you, my enemies. I say I love you and I pray for you. I pray for you, mercy for you. And I pray empathy for you. And I pray for awareness, consciousness, and repentance for you. And that you find the path to salvation. I've posted things that some people will agree a little bit and many will think that I'm over the top or way out there as people are want to do. Uh, in particular right now I'm speaking about a pathetic, dark and desolate place called Oregon. And people probably think I'm too extreme in my pronouncements. But I'll tell you something. First of all, I posted a number of articles about the white supremacist and racist history, which has never been addressed by Oregon. But then again, in fairness to all you Oregonians and all you demoniacs out there, uh, has New Jersey paid attention to their past, has the South to theirs? I think not. Uh, not sufficiently has the Midwest, Minnesota, South Dakota addressed their racist history? I don't think so. And uh, I think you all should. Because part of repentance is confronting your sins and regretting them and beginning not just to say, oh, shucks, that's kind of too bad we did that or that that was done and that it's, the legacy continues, but to really, really begin to care and make a difference and make up for it. Uh, I'm just going to make this quick. I know you don't have much of an attention span because moral failure leads to cognitive decline. I said moral failure leads to cognitive decline. Think about it, if you can. And uh, when I was out in Eugene, Oregon, I saw an interesting museum. I didn't go in, but I saw the sign. The Museum of the Calvary and the Indians. Oh, lovely. The Museum of the Calvary and Indians. Uh, is that like kind of like the museum of the, the Nazis and the Jews? Kind of. And, I mean, how does that sound? The museum of the Nazis and the Jews. Well, the, we know what the cavalry and what the, what the soldiers and all the 49ers and all of the land speculators and railway men and all together did to the people and to the beautiful cultures that were here. Uh, but uh, in fairness, let's go down to the south, go down to Tennessee and Alabama and South Carolina and Texas, et cetera, et cetera. And when you go down there, they got these statues all over the place of these racist heroes. They stand there. They're, they don't have any interest in taking them down. They have no such interests. They leave them. If you go to Franklin, Tennessee, where they're so proud of their Civil War heritage, you go on a tour of one of the houses down there, one of the plantations, and they tell you all about the family and about the boys and how they were, these young men were killed not far from the doorsteps and how their great heroes were all lined up in the bloodbath at what they used at some mansion they used as a hospital. I forget the names. You can look it up. Franklin, Tennessee. But there's a little, there's some slave quarters there on that land. And that's what those boys who died were fighting to retain. Those slaves and those little slave quarters. But personally, the slave quarters look really nice to me considering the way I live and where I've sleep sometimes and I would be very happy with their quarters but I wouldn't be happy with their servitude, their enslavement um, the way Americans are happy with theirs uh, but 
you know, that's just like something. And, and as you go on a little tour, then you can buy a nice Confederate flag as a souvenir. Hey, let's go to Auschwitz or Dachau. And then after we do the tour, we can get a nice Nazi swastika flag. How's that sound? Everybody, let's sign up, get on the bus, go into the concentration camp, have a nice tour and learn how the concentration guards were keeping the Jews in their place, and then get your souvenir Nazi flag. Or just, oh, we can't go that far because there's an ocean. So let's just go down to Tennessee and, and do a, a tour of, of the fight of the plantation owners for their way of life and for their, what do they call it, peculiar institution, and then get a souvenir flag that celebrates all they stood for. Go back to Eugene and go back to Salem, that den of demonic pandemonium, and or, oh, I, and I was posting these things, then like a day after I posted, some racist mofo kills two people while screaming anti-Islamic slogans. Par for the course for that kind of place. So, my dear enemies, does this is this, uh, what, you, what is it about all this you want to defend? You know, I'm open to discussion. Let's have a, let's have a conversation. What, what am I saying that's wrong? Uh, or is it just my tone? Am I, do I sound like, like, uh, like frustrated or irritated with all of this bullshit? really dark evil bullshit yeah and yeah and and when I talk about it everybody goes on with their postings of all sorts of n nonsense and ignores it and you that ignore what I say if you if and unless you think I'm just stupid and 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 that it's all that I'm talking about is what wrong or unimportant or lies when you don't do anything to to consider it and maybe help in pushing forward the agenda of repentance and reconciliation and changing this world into a better place and recognizing the the the, the disease foundation on which your society is currently built and where the legacy of all these things continues, then you are digging your own grave. Literally. And I guess, you know, th those who are, who are good, those who are pure, those who are holy, I'm not talking about all this for their sake. They're going to be fine. Because, as Socrates said, one thing he knows is that a good man has nothing to fear in this world or the next. So who do you think benefit I'm talking for? For you. The demented, deluded, decayed, decrepit, morally bankrupt people that I would love if you would take a look at yourself, take a look at what has been done and what continue, you continue to do, and let's change for your sake, for your sake. Love and peace. The name of the game, at least that's my game. What's your game? Adios.